feel gassy. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. Last week, Dean and I talked about the rocky planets. And of course, that prompted the Federation of Gas Giant Planets to send us a strongly worded letter demanding equal time. So, we devoted this week's show to the largest of the gas giant planets, specifically the king of the solar system, Jupiter. If you're a person who likes to do your planet watching before sunrise, Jupiter is in a great position for viewing right now. So let's get Jovian with Jupiter. Okay, we have our sky set to an hour before sunrise any night this week facing south. High in the sky, you'll see two bright lights in the constellation Virgo the Maiden. The one that's twinkling is the blue giant star Spica. The one that isn't twinkling is our friend Jupiter. Through even a modest telescope, Jupiter shows itself as a disk with dark banding across its surface. And if your skies are particularly steady and your timing is right, you may catch a glimpse of the great red spot. At current count, 67 moons surround Jupiter, and four of them are close to the same size or larger than our own moon. They are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. And you can see them change position every night through even a small telescope. Jupiter is not only the largest planet in our solar system, but its gravity is so strong that it's sometimes referred to as the solar system's vacuum cleaner. Jupiter's gravity attracts nearby asteroids and other small solar system bodies, and it has been known to dramatically change the orbits of an inbound comet, which can shorten or lengthen the amount of time it takes for the comet to orbit the Sun. In July 1994, fragments of comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with Jupiter, providing the first direct observation of a collision between two solar system objects. The planet Jupiter has been observed in the sky since antiquity. The ancient Romans named it after the king of their gods, whom the Greeks referred to as Zeus. Babylonian astronomers have records of Jupiter dating back to the 7th century BC. In his book, The Almagest, Greek astronomer Claudius Ptolemy used Jupiter's motion with respect to the Earth to refine his Earth-centered model of the solar system. By doing this, Ptolemy showed that Jupiter took almost 12 years to make a complete circuit of the sky, which we now know as the amount of time it takes Jupiter to orbit the Sun. In 1610, Italian astronomer Galileo Galilei studied Jupiter using a telescope and is credited with discovering the four largest moons of Jupiter, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. The motions of these moons around Jupiter provided Galileo with an example supporting Nicholas Copernicus's view of a sun-centered solar system. Because if you look at Jupiter and its moons, they do look like a miniature version of our solar system. Astronomers Giovanni Cassini and Robert Hooke both noticed a large red spot on Jupiter during their telescopic observations in the 1660s. This spot, affectionately called the Great Red Spot, is so large that you could fit two Earths inside it. Jupiter is enormous. If Jupiter were hollow, you could fit over 1,000 Earths inside it, and it has over 120 times the surface area of the Earth. If Jupiter were the size of a basketball, Earth would be about the size of a small marble. Jupiter also spins very fast. Its day is only 9.8 hours long, which means that when Jupiter rises at sunset during the winter months, when the sky is dark for more than 12 hours, in the course of only one night, you can actually see the entire surface of the planet. This rapid spinning has caused Jupiter to take on an M&M shape. And because Jupiter is not a solid body, Jupiter's atmosphere actually spins faster at the equator than it does at the poles, making the clouds form the stripes we've come to know and love. So get outside and gaze upon the gas giant planet Jupiter this week. It's easy to do when you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.